take two ladies sorry i got cut off there i don't know what happened my internet my phone everything just shut down so obviously the energy that's coming in is coming in very um powerful at the moment so um we just had a few technical difficulties so i hope you can all join me again so i'm bringing in the energy of um the spiritual skip today okay i'm bringing in the energy of the lion and helping us to fully align back into ourselves and letting go of people places situations and allowing us to let go of the binds and the contracts and the stories there could be a spell could be a hex whatever that's holding us to those people and we're literally going to bring ask the angels and our guides to step forward bring down the skip i'm going to bring it on a short visualization so you can see that skip and throw or physically energetically throw everything that you don't want and don't need in your life so something that you done last week doesn't fit you this week so because we're changing we're constantly changing and that march is all about the change all about stepping fully into our true divine self so we have to embrace the change for to allow us to go through this so i'm going to ask you to take a deep breath in calling all your energy back all the way back <clears throat> from people, places, situations, time and space. Allowing it to drop through that divine filter of pure love and light. I'm going to ask you to take another deep breath in and calling your energy fully, fully back, all the way back again. And allowing it to drop through that divine filter of pure love and light. Because we only want your energy back. And breathe out. Take another deep breath in. Allowing your energy to fully, fully drop into you. <clears throat> so just allowing you drop into you. And breathe out. Take another deep breath in. And acknowledging how you're feeling, not wanting to change anything. So let go of the self judgment. And breathe out. Bring your awareness to your heart and as you bring your awareness to your heart, visualize two big golden roots coming out of your heart chakra, into your solar plex, into your sacral chakra, your hips, your legs, your feet, the floor, right down into your earth star chakra and into the core of Mother Earth. Feeling your energy and Mother Earth's energy combining as one. And feeling this energy move up into your earth star chakra, pulling your earth star chakra all the way down, 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 right down into the center of the crystalline grid, all the way down. Allowing you to fully anchor your energy into your rightful place. Allowing your roots wrap around the crystalline grid. This is your rightful place. You are fully anchoring your energy into your rightful place on this earth. Allowing you now to feel the second part of the grid come up to seal in your earth star chakra. Feel this energy move up into your feet, your legs, your hips, your sacral chakra, your solar plex and your heart centre. Doing a 360 degree around your heart centre. Calling in the energy from source. Coming straight down into your stellar gateway. Clearing anything that's stopping you from having divine connection. Into your soul star chakra so you can see, sense and feel your true soul's path. And allowing that to fully illuminate in front of you. Into your causal chakra so your intuition can be fully heightened. Into the crown of your head so you can think more clearly. Into your third eye so you can see more clearly. Into your ear chakras so you can hear divine guidance. 
into your throat chakra so you can speak your truth with pure love and light. Into the higher heart, connecting into that universal energy of 5D and allowing you to fully anchor that within your body and life. Into the heart, so you can see how beautiful you are inside and out and how deserving you are of love, pure, unconditional love. Into your sacral chakras, sorry, into your solar plex, so you can unleash your true divine masculine energies, allowing them to fully balance within the body and fully accepting yourself no matter what into your sacral chakra so you can unleash your true divine feminine energies allowing them to fully balance within the body and remembering and reawakening your true gifts and talents who you truly are into your root chakra so you can bring in the abundance of life and all life has to offer into your hips your legs and your feet so you can take any necessary steps forward right down into your earth star chakra and into the core of mother earth feeling this energy now move all the way up into your feet your root and your heart doing a 360 degrees around your heart chakra feeling your energy mother earth's energy and father sky's energy combining as one and feeling this energy move to every part of your body every part of your being now i'm just going to call in the energy of the lion he is standing i can feel his presence on my right hand side you might feel him somewhere different he's placing his hand well not his hand his paw on your shoulder just for support and courage so you can let this all go once and for all so just take a deep breath in and with the help of your guides and my guides and all your spiritual team and the beautiful courage and strength of the, the lion, you're going to go into the oneness, right down into your stillness, into that zero point, allowing it to go extremely deep, letting it all go. Nobody needs anything from you. Nobody wants anything from you right now. This is your time. So I'm going to ask you to, I'm going to call in your guides now and they're going to bring you down a skip. It can be the smallest skip or the biggest skip. Whatever it is, and they're going to bring it right down. Visualise it right in front of you. And anybody... Any situations or any places that are holding you back or are triggering you or annoying you or anything at all, I want you to throw in this skip. And you will see there is four angels standing on either side of it. So just allowing you to throw this person, each person in or place, situation, whatever it is. And as you do that, I'm going to ask Arch Archangel Michael to cut the cords that are holding you to people, places, situations and allowing you to fully release their energy. Any binds, any contracts, any st stories that are holding you to people, places, situations, whether it be this lifetime or a past lifetime, to be cleared on all levels, all layers, all dimensions past, present and future lifetime. So I'm going to get you to keep throwing it in as I drum and use the light codes to release all the energy out of you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. 
I'm going to ask you to cross your hands over your knees and fully, fully anchor in that energy. Wow, that was beautiful. <clears throat> I could see us literally being showered in a beautiful, beautiful gold um, energy. And I want to thank the beautiful spirit animal, the lion, for coming in to help us. And release. I, I know I feel so much lighter after that. I feel like I'm after losing a stone <laughs> in weight. We're not losing, sorry, dropping. We're not to say lose anymore because our body will be looking because it'll think we've lost something. We haven't lost anything. We've just let it all go. So, ladies, I'm going to pull you an animal card. And I'm going to pull you the wisdom of change cards. There you go. And the beautiful animal cards. See what we need to know for the weekend. Anyone that came in in the middle of that, please go back and do it. And thank you for watching this and thank you for watching the replays. I can't even see who's on. I'm having serious technical difficulties this morning. So let me see. Ooh. I can't even see the comments, ladies. What do we need to know for the weekend? Loon. Hiya, Orla. I just after seeing Orla popping in. Me buddy. Hiya, Lisa. See, they're starting to come in now. See, Loon. He looks like a, um, a duck to me. Susan. Susan. Wow, feeling so lucky. You're very welcome. That's, what, do, what did he say? Intuitive. So, li always listen to your knowing. Don't don't be second guessing your the, the information the knowledge that you have within you we have so much knowledge within us we just need to let it out um it's about allowing our soul to sing allowing the soul what we're after being doing letting it all go so we can come into full balance full alignment with ourselves and allowing the soul to be free listen trust and believe in your intuition. It will never, ever, ever let you down. Think of all the times when you didn't listen, when things went wrong, and the times that you did listen, and things just went with flow and ease. So we need to fully, fully, especially this month of March, there is so much energy around to do with um, change. So we need to really stay in our own lanes. The only person we should be worried about is ourselves, and nobody else look after yourself it's not being selfish it's just having your self-care in place oh sorry i'll read the card see it's beautiful water emotions yeah see look the ripple it's a letting it all go listen to the song of your soul trust your intuition as you have the way of knowing emerging from the busy life and seeking more solitude recognize that you are unique and that you are loved every single one of us is unique that's why my business is called living uniquely you we are all unique in our own way it would be a very dull and very sad world if we weren't all unique or if we were all the same it would just wouldn't work so we all have beautiful talents and gifts that we haven't even unearthed and allowing them to flow. So really, really listen to the soul, listen to your intuition and it's saying get solitude. Hi, Irene. That card is what you always remind us of. Thanks, that card is what. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I always, we, we are unique in, in our um in our own amazing selves and freeing the soul and acceptance so it's accepting us for our unique self self accepting us for where we are now at this moment in time not where we were yesterday what we're looking for in the future well yes taught you where internet went up hard but all of that and so, yeah i know my internet is absolutely nuts at the moment <laughs> I don't, yeah i know no, I didn't put us all in the skip. No, I didn't. <laughs> Carol, no. <laughs> I put a lot of other people in it, believe me, but your luck, that's life. <laughs> so this is accepting yourself for who you are. Really, really accepting it. 
And um, the change you long for seems frustrating, elusive, no matter what you try. There are times during the path of change when it's simply your job to push against a closed door for a while. Well, I say don't push against that closed door. It'll open when it's going to open. This card is asking you to take comfort in the state of accepting that everything is working out for you behind the scenes. Maybe the universe has been keeping you busy while it lines up something better. I do believe that because I have a lot of stuff going on at the moment and I'm bringing, I'm looking at bringing up a new, whole new program into alignment and I'm in the middle of, um, have a few couple of people um, testing it out for me. So keep an eye on this space, ladies. There's a big one coming. Trust that your efforts have been, have not been wasted. With hindsight, you will understand why you are here and how you, your change journey is unfolding perfectly. Claire, I was waiting and refreshing away for you this morning. Lafay, I'm so glad you got on. This is perfect. You're very welcome, Claire. Very welcome, everybody that's watching. This is what I do. I love this. This is my passion. This is my job. If you had have asked me a year ago, this time last year, would I have been doing everyday life before all the madness hit? I would have said no. My life language, my life has changed so, so much within the year. I've got so busy in my business. It's just been an amazing year um, since we've gone into this whole madness, crazy 4D energy that's out there. So, um, yeah, I have a, I have COVID to thank for an awful lot, I have to say, in fairness. So, accept yourself for who you are, your uniqueness, your amazing, and never forget you are the most important person in your life. Have an amazing weekend, guys. Thank you for watching this, and thank you all for the support you give me on a daily basis. And it's my pleasure to serve every single individual one of you. Have an amazing weekend, guys. And um, I will talk to you all again on Monday and see what Monday brings us. Have a great weekend. Take care. Bye.